Hi everybody, I'm Julie Moran and I am pumped up for Big Game Day and today's special show. We have got lots of great stuff for you from a field of good food to kids on a good health mission with help from the NFL. Love that. Welcome to the Balancing Act. This is going to be fun. You know, besides football, of course, Big Game Day is all about what? It's about food, that's right. So we're starting off the show with my favorite guy, Chef Ralph Pagano in the Quick Bites Kitchen. Hope you're bringing a big appetite to the big game. Welcome to my kitchen. I am Chef Ralph Pagano, and man, I am hungry just thinking about the food buffet on Big Game Day. We're talking about some good eating and filling up those bellies. And speaking of bellies, I'm gonna trim the fat and replace it with some good old fashioned deliciousness thanks to the star of our show, Carnation 2% Evaporated Milk. Think about it, wouldn't it be a perfect world if everything that you ate that you loved was good for you? Well, Carnation Evaporated Milk is one of those things. Think of it as a unicorn jumping over a river of chocolate and into your mouth and it make it taste oh so good. Right here, today, I'm gonna make a cool, baked potato casserole, but I'm cutting all the fat out. Well, most of the fat at least. Here's how we're gonna do it. I've got my already cooked potatoes here in the bowl. To that, I'm gonna add 2% evaporated milk by carnation. Adding to that some green onions, because they taste delicious. Low-fat cheddar cheese. Low-fat sour cream. And for that crunch and that salt that you so desire, cooked turkey bacon. Mix it all together, put it into the bacon casserole dish, into the oven, 325 degrees, about 45 minutes later, it comes out looking like this. Gooey, ooey, and delicious. And nobody is gonna miss any of the fat because it's got all the flavor. For more filling, delicious, and healthy recipes for the big game, go to verybestbaking.com and score yourself a food touchdown. I'm Ralph Pagano, Hut, Hut, Hike. Oh yeah, thanks for that quick bite, Ralph. I am salivating, but as always, everything in my... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the man himself! Magic word, moderation, oh and my Ralph gosh. This is not moderate. This Get is, on in here. This is, you know, I saw a table that was uh, defunct of dip, and I did my best here on a big game day. <laughs> How are you, Doug? Good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Oh my gosh, everything you prepare, I just like... This is just like right up my alley. Yeah, this is perfect over here. You know, this is great for the big game, right? You've got the football, you got the pretzels, you got some I'm loving this. green bean thing going on over here. I got the jersey. Yep. Oh, and look, look at you. Look, I came as a soda bottle today. Am I gonna score or T D or am I out of bounds? We're gonna score on we're this. Gonna go with score. <laughs> we're gonna go with score. We're gonna go we're gonna go score for sure. You know what they say, Ralph? Everything in moderation. Including moderation. <laughs> Before we get this party started, here's our Olga Viaverdi with a very cool health program for kids. Along with books come real life lessons on leading healthier lives. Lessons on the importance of eating right and exercising regularly. That's the mission behind the Gen Youth signature program, Fuel Up to Play 60. It's the nation's largest in-school health and wellness program. It focuses on encouraging kids to start their day with breakfast, topped off with lots of physical activity. Fuel Up to Play 60 has reached over 73,000 schools and 38 million students. The program was launched by the National Dairy Council and the NFL in collaboration with the USDA. It encourages kids to eat nutrient-rich foods along with doing at least 60 minutes of physical activity every day. Because of Fuel Up to Play 60, we've seen a lot more attentive students, more well-behaved students, and better performance in the classroom. One of the highlights of the program is Fuel Up to Play 60 and NFL's Flag Program, a fun physical activity. No tackling here, and yes, girls play too. And the kids move a lot. The game is less about the strength and more about the exercise, skill, and coordination. 
I've seen kids who you wouldn't think have certain talents in certain areas just completely surprise you. Before, I didn't really like football because I didn't know what to do. I used to think that that's just like a boy sport, but now girls can do it. To find out more about this program, visit fueluptoplay60.com or our website, balancingact.com. Thanks, Olga. What a great program. It is. And coming up later, we go inside more schools that are embracing Fuel Up to Play 60. All right, let's dip. Yeah, let's dip. <laughs> <for> <laughs> sure. Did you know that during the big game, Americans consume approximately 1.25 billion chicken wings, 50 million cases of beer, and 8 million pounds of guacamole? Welcome back. I've sent Julie to the kitchen for the next big play. All right, picture this. The big game is on the big screen in your house, and do you see any children in that picture? Mm, not likely. They're running around all other parts of the house trying to find something to get into. No worries, our guest has some tasty and entertaining ideas for the kids. I want you to meet Jennifer Chopla of Joy Cone, and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, So Julie. great to have you. I'm telling you, I'm looking at these cones, remembering like my ice cream days with Maya and Michaela. but there is so much more to do with cones, right? The, um, the possibilities are endless with this product. We've been around for nearly 100 years, wow. and consumers still think ice cream cones are just for ice cream, and that's not the case, and that's where we're highlighting today with this beautiful spread. Oh my gosh, my girls like, you know, crafty and they like to be creative and this right off the bat is so cool. Now what happened here? You put cake batter in cake a cone? Cake batter and then you bake it and it makes a cupcake cone. Cool, and like this is a mess for me and you put it in a muffin tin, you can actually decorate and then set it down without, that without was brilliant. Mess. Yeah, <laughs> and I love, now these are called enjoyables, is that right? Yep, the oh. mini, kind of mini bowls, mini waffle bowls. And you've got fun things in there like yogurt and, and, and fruit and nuts. It's just a great way to entertain. Yeah, and they're great for kids and great for portion control. If you don't want to eat the big bowls, right. now then this you can is have your a mini bowl. Big, what do you call this, the waffle the bowl? The waffle bowl. And I love this for the adults. It's got coleslaw and ham, but you could really put anything in there. And I love that this is edible. You can yeah. eat the whole bowl. Exactly. It might get a little Let's messy. Let's but... dishes. Well, <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> oh my gosh. So I just want to say I've been enjoying cones with my kids, and now you've opened up a whole new world and ways mm -hmm. to entertain. Thank you for stopping by the show. Thank you so much for having me. It was, it was just a pleasure. And now I'm going to go home and replicate all of this. Yeah. <laughs> And for more ideas on making memories with joy, visit joycone.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. Come in here, I'm gonna taste one. Thanks, Julie. Earlier, we introduced you to the nation's largest in-school nutrition and physical activity program. For more, we return to the field with Olga Villaverde. Gen Youth's Fuel Up to Play 60 is right on target, and everyone seems to agree. Kids starting their day with a healthful breakfast is crucial. One thing people don't realize is a lot of children don't have food available at home, and it's not always just children of low socioeconomics. I think that providing a nice, well-balanced breakfast for most parents is easier said than done, especially these days where parents have to work. And according to a survey by No Kid Hungry, 75% of public school teachers say that students regularly come to school hungry. So naturally, Fuel Up to Play 60 was a perfect match for public schools. I look at Fuel Up to Play 60 as my Prince Charming. Healthy students are healthy learners. And just by having breakfast, it is gonna make our kids concentrate better, have better working memory, and in a position to learn better. Nutrition is just part of the program. Physical fitness is the other. Fuel Up to Play 60 stepped in and I was able to get funds to buy equipment so that we could teach the children structured play. <laughs> We've implemented the in-class physical activity breaks and it's been very successful. Flag football actually just changed the school up. It just made it so energetic. Did you know your school can apply for $4,000 a year to help you activate Fuel Up to Play 60? All kids have aspirations, but they've got to fuel their body to fuel their dreams. Daniel, are you ready to fuel greatness?
Thanks, you're a star. School breakfast can help every kid fuel greatness. And for more information, visit youlovetoplay60.com or our website, thebalancingact.com. Thanks, Olga. We're back and we're balling. Later, we'll hear from the real stars, the students themselves. Also coming up, more big food ideas for the big game day. Stay with us. Did you know that during the big game, Americans consume approximately 11 million slices of pizza? And all that leads to a 20% increase in antacid sales. All right, call them what you want. Pecan, 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 whatever you want to say. The versatility doesn't stop with just pronunciations. And joining me in the kitchen to discuss this healthy fan favorite is Trent Mason, a pecan grower and spokesman for the Georgia Pecan Commission. It's so great to have you in the Good studio. Good morning, Julie, and I'm so happy to be here. You know, I grew up in Georgia, I think you know that, and my dad, P.W. Bryan, had a pecan orchard, and I just have such fond memories of being out there, and just, I love my pecans, and I love Georgia. Pecan Pecans are the only native nut to America. What? I didn't even know that. I know. Pecans are grown in 14 states. Okay. And Georgia is the largest producing state. In Georgia, we will produce on average 100 million pounds, which is close to one third of the production in the U.S. Oh my and the gosh. U.S. actually produces 80 percent of the world's production. So Georgia is the it's known as the peach state, but it's very really involved. It's the pecan it's, state. It's the pecan state. <laughs> and Trent, I recently ran across an article that said pecans are a superfood. Exactly. Pecans have been on the sideline for a long time. And we're ready to get in the game. Get in the game. Pecans have the most antioxidants out of any other nut. Really? The most? The most. Wow. It's almost double wow. from the next closest nut. They can lower cholesterol. They're certified. They're backed by the Heart Association, so they're heart healthy. They have over 16 vitamins and minerals. They're loaded in fiber. So the possibilities of the health benefits are just endless. They are a superfood. And you know, when most people think of pecan, and you and I say pecan, some people say pecan, but they think of pecan pie, right? Yes. We gotta get beyond that. Most definitely, we gotta think outside of the box and get beyond the pecan pie. And so with pecans, the possibilities are endless. I like to grill a lot. You can use pecans to coat your chicken. Yummy. You can have pecan fish. You can use pecans to grab and go. They make an excellent snack. Excellent. You can use pecan meal, pecan butter. And you know what I do? I put them on the roasting pan. You told me your mother does this. You put them all, you, you, you do a little butter, a little sea salt, roast them. Oh my gosh. Yes, and they make a delicious snack at, for around the, at the football game or yeah. wherever when your friends are over. And they're also uh, gluten free, so you don't have to worry about that when your friends come over. And you can just eat them and they stand great on their own. And these, your, you know, pecan bags, I have like six of them in my freezer and people don't realize you can keep them for a couple of years in the yes, freezer. Yes, they're perishable in the freezer for two years. You can keep them in the freezer for up to two years, pull them out, maybe the day fresh before. Fresh paint. Maybe the day before people are coming over, take them out and they taste just as fresh as the day you put them in. That's so great. All right, everything looks so delicious. Let's tell me what we got here. Here we have a pecan veggie burger. Yum. We have, it tastes so good. Yeah. We have pecan energy bars. We have pecan s'mores with the graham cracker made out of 70% pecan flour. Oh my gosh. Here we have. Wait, I gotta go right here. The pecan in the popcorn. Oh my gosh. It's so good. The pe mm. Just add the pecan pieces to your popcorn. That is so good. It tastes great. And I love the spinach salad, and it's pretty much just introducing the pecan to it, which I do. I love that. Yes, yeah, so you, here you just add the warm bacon uh, pecan dressing to the salad. Just drizzle it over the top with the pecan halves on the salad. It makes a so excellent yummy. dressing. And then look at all this great stuff down here. Talk e to me. Exactly. You have pecan pieces here. I love those. You can grind it down and get pecan flour, pecan meal, end up with pecan butter. So all we really have to do is like take the recipes that we have, and substitute the superfood into them, right? Pretty much any of the recipes that have other nuts, you can take pecans and substitute them in to that recipe. The possibilities are just endless. I am so glad you came by. We, we need to let the world know about pecans. We do. We're ready to get off the sidelines, <laughs> and we're happy to let the world know about All pecans. All right. Thanks so much for coming by, Trent. And for more information and recipe ideas on this super nut, visit georgiapecans.org or our website, thebalancingapp.com. All right. got to try the s'mores. Come on down here. Did you know during the big game, Americans consume approximately 28 million pounds of potato chips and 4,000 tons 
of popcorn. Welcome back, everybody. We have more food ideas for you to share with family and friends on Big Game Day. Take it away, Ralph. Seems the buffet of food ideas for Big Game Day just keep coming, and I love it. Welcome to my kitchen with me, Chef Ralph Pagan. You know, meat eaters are in abundance for the big game, and I've got you covered with some ham. In the spirit of the pigskin, I'm gonna show you some recipes using Kentucky Legend Ham that would make you the winning food coach. Today, it's all about the sandwich board. You know, the fact of the matter is, you gotta start with two fantastic things when you're gonna make a great sandwich. Number one, you gotta start with great bread. But if the bread is good and nothing else is, it doesn't matter. I start with Kentucky Legend Ham. Now check it out. Four artisanal new flavors that they just came out with. There's your traditional smoke, your honey kissed, your brown sugar barbecue, and the one I fell in love with, the black pepper crusted. It blasts in my mouth and I have such a good time. Now, well, you gotta get a little spread to go on your ham. Over here, I'm gonna make a little roasted garlic aioli with fresh thyme. Now, I know that sounds fancy, but it's really pretty easy. Go to the store, get some fresh garlic just like this. Take the two pieces before you cut them, put them like this, wrap it in a little aluminum foil, olive oil, pinch of salt, put them in your oven, 350 degrees, 30 minutes, they're perfect. Take them out, let them cool. When they're done, you slice them in half, and just this easy, they just pop right out of the garlic casing, right? What could be easier than that? Look at this. Take a fork, mash them all together, and then you take a little bit of your store-bought mayonnaise, or if you're feeling fancy, whip up, up some of yourself. A little fresh thyme, glide that in, a little pinch of salt, whisk it all around, this is gonna be the most delicious, creamy spread that's gonna happen. Listen, the rest of your toppings are pretty important too. Over here, I've got relish, sun-dried tomatoes, grain mustard, roasted peppers, and of course, some crunchy French onions. Big score for you meat eaters, and learn how you can make this big game day a day to remember. Go to speciallyfoodsgroup.com or visit our website, thebalancingact.com. We toss it back to our Olga Villaverde now with a final look at an in-school health and wellness program that's kid-tested and approved. It's collaboration to the nth degree. Basically, the adults passed the ball to the youngsters. They took over, testing and approving all components, making it easy for their peers to approve. The multifaceted program features student leadership opportunities from being a student ambassador at a national summit. This program has changed a lot of people. You really get rewarded, it pays off. To youngsters creating their own public service announcements. Because when I leave for today, I'll be you love to play. The program helps students become leaders now while building their self-esteem. Being involved with Feel to Play 60 helped me to overcome my fear of public speaking. I would recommend this program because it changed your life. Well said, Hunter. Well said. To learn more about how to develop students' leadership abilities, go to fueluptoplay60.com or visit our website, thebalancingact.com. Just love seeing those NFL players with our kids, right? No. All right. Well, that's our show. But head to our Facebook page and our website. We got lots more there for you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy eating on Big Game Day. All right, let's toast to that. Yeah, Love sure. this. Like this over here. And we don't have to wait to eat. I can get it right now, right? <laughs> we'll see you next time for another Big Game Day. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>